busy day. I am just doing my morning routine now. I've already washed my face and all that stuff. And then, you know, we're unwrapping my gift and doing the daily cards. And then we are headed to work, to sit and work there for a little bit. I have a creative project that I am working on for today. So I will share a little bit of that with you guys. And I need to edit a video and then I have work. So I wanted to film my evening routine. So that's like the chunk of today. Evening routines is what set you up to have a good morning the next day. Everyone thinks like, oh, you have to have a morning routine. That's great. And so that you're productive. But the evening routine is what actually makes the morning routine be good. If you get enough sleep, if you are ready for the next morning, like all these things. Got a hot chocolate stick. Let's do this reading. These are the cards that I got for today. Full Moon and Leo and then Knight of Swords. Full Moon and Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. Have you been letting your pride become an obstacle? Is the question you're asking based on your ego or is it from your heart? Leo energy is all about the heart. Think of the big hearted king of the jungle, the lion. Its energy is magnificent, but when it's combined with the rush of the full moon, it can become over the top. This card may have come to you because you need to end a deadlock that has developed. More love and thoughts for the greater good are the solution to this dilemma. If you've not been doing as you would be done by lately, this is a time to find a balance between your own needs and the needs for the people around you. This will help all your relationships. Attune to the moon. Be magnificent without being plain too much. Additional meanings for this card. Self-esteem is good. Vanity is not. Everyone is equally important. Creative urges should be followed. Works and magic. A friendship may be ending now. When the full moon comes into you in Leo, it can be a wonderful bright time where people feel more confident to show the world their talents and assets. That's the upside of this lunation and of this card, no matter when you pull it. However, take note that the Leo full moon combination creates a sort of tension between your needs the needs of people and your networks. Leo full moon is a time to release pride. And then we have Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords expresses the maximum power of the air element. It is a movement of air and the full spirit of the element. Its action is determined. It races and knows where it's going and is moved by both the need to reach the objective and the pleasure itself of running. It can be enthralling, charismatic, intelligent, a lover of dialects and words. Its style is not just physical, but also, more importantly, intellectual. Artemis is seen here in the competitive side, the one who challenges Apollo, her brother, in a hunt. She's a symbol of female emancipation, autonomy, and independence. You go, girl. As always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and the cards are linked down below. I am redecorating the bathrooms here at Unlocked. But right now, I'm just gonna sit and do a little work here. Yeah. Okay. Do this sitting on the floor yes because i am just making some space on my computer for me to be able to continue vlogmas i want to do this like regularly i have currently got one gigabyte <laughs> left on my computer i'm just doing this and then i'm gonna go and take a bath i got very very inspired by megan beautiful queen megan she is this incredible soul from my coaching program days. I haven't really talked about my coaching pro program on here that much, but I will when the time is right. But she said that she's been working a lot with water and how water is like the alchemist of your emotions and going with the flow life. She explains it a lot better. So if you want to check her out, I will link her socials 
in the description below. She said that she has been taking a bath for 45 minutes. I'm not a 45 minute long bath kind of gal. <laughs> I get very hot very easily. So I'm probably not gonna be there in there for 45 minutes, but I do wanna take a bath and kind of like slow everything down and just sit in stillness and quiet and just be with everything that is coming up. So thank you, Megan, for that inspiration. I love getting new little like tips and tricks and seeing if anything or something works for me. For my face wash, I'm using the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser and I love it. It's so freaking good. I forgot that I can't take a bath. <laughs> this in a bath does not do well. <laughs> You're not supposed to take a bath until it's gone like a week. It's definitely not been a week. Change of plans. <laughs> Let's meditate instead and I'll take a shower tomorrow morning. And don't at me, okay? <laughs> I removed the label from this, so I have no idea where it's from, but it's a snail serum. It has these two different parts. It's very slimy and I don't know, I kind of love it. Bye. And that's it. I'm not a very big maintenance gal when it comes to my skincare. Sometimes I do more, but this is like my go-to. I used to be really, really bad at doing my skincare, but now I do it every morning, every night, and it helps not having a but good, good, but Jillian, but but good Jillian, but Jillian, Jillian, a ton of steps. You know, so just sticking to these two and in the morning I do two things as well wash my face put on some lotion or face cream And if I want to be fancy I go for an eye cream or a toner But usually as long as I get these two steps in I think that's for like a lot of habits We just go overboard and we think that oh, we're gonna do this elaborate morning routine and evening routine and skincare and and we just go overwhelmed and then we just don't do any of it and then we get mad at ourselves and then we get sad because we're getting mad at ourselves and it's just this like old loop one tip that i learned from atomic habits is habit stacking it is genius so once you wake up let's say once you get out of bed you go straight to the kitchen to get a glass of water and then once you've gotten into the habit of doing that thing of having that glass of water right when you wake up you do having a glass of water or maybe tongue scraping and then having a glass of water like you stack habits on top of each other and that will make it easier for it to stick and just make sure that you actually integrate these habits before you add another one because I've done that I've gotten so excited and just ended up being too overwhelmed because there's just been so many things that I wanted to do and not got done let's get into bed let's meditate <laughs> sleep around 10. Today it's been a little later which is totally fine. I'm gonna journal and then I usually fall asleep to either a DI which is a deep imagining from TBM the course that I'm participating in or I also have a few night hypnosis from TMBA Manifestation Babe Academy which I think I might want to do today. So I'm gonna journal on today. It's been such an incredible day. I've got so many ideas and just juice coming out of my pores. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. I love having you here, taking you with me on this journey. And I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up. 
because it really helps my channel and these videos to get out to even more people. Comment down below any questions you have for me or any video ideas that you want to see here on the channel. I am always curious to hear your opinion. Subscribe and click the notification bell if you want to stay updated with all my vlogmas videos. We got so much good stuff coming. Oh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow for another day of vlogmas. Bye. Love you guys.